Mass Effect 3. Mac, welcome to the hot seat. It is actually nice and warm. It is. Yeah. Try staying under here for four hours. You start sweating. <laughs> I'll bet. So, Mass Effect has always been known for its captivative and engaging story, but it seems like you guys went even farther with Mass Effect 3. You added in even more emotion. Why is that? I think, you know, uh, to me, we knew that Mass Effect 3, we're going to be pulling out all the stops, it'd be all the big action moments. Um, you know, this is intergalactic at war on a scale that you've never seen before. But to me, as a writer, I wanted those big moments uh, to mean something, if, if not to uh, the characters in them, to Shepard, and hopefully also to the player as well, though. Um, and I think that's, that's what takes something from being, you know, this big amazing moment to being something that's more than that, transcends, you know, action, and becomes something that's memorable, something that you're, you, you're just going to live with you for a long time. And I think to me that was just important. I mean, there are other aspects to it, but, you know, that was a big, big factor. No, I totally agree. Now, did you um, do anything different in the development side for the writing this time around? Well, I mean, uh, one of the things, of course, was, uh, you know, we you were talking to uh, Fem Shepard earlier, you know, we really wanted to look at Shepard a little bit more and let, let Shepard express how they are dealing with all of the events of the war and, and the events of loss uh, throughout the series. In fact, you know, there's, there's people that have been close to Shepard that have died, and we don't always give, uh, you know, you as the player or Shepard as a character, the opportunity to discuss that. And so I think that was one of the key things that we did, is we actually looked at the character, and of course it's totally optional. If you want to be the shepherd who's just like, nope, rub some dirt on it, let's just keep moving, I'm fine, I don't want to talk about it, you can be that shepherd. But if you want to look at, if you want to talk about it, you can do that. Uh, also, you know, just uh, looking at some of the individual characters as well, especially the henchmen, one of the things we wanted to be able to do is uh, really bring those moments alive and make them feel a little bit more dynamic, and Mass Effect 2, um, I think the, the relationships were awesome, but sometimes they, you know, were a bit um, uh, formulaic in the sense that you just go back to the same spot, you'd find your henchman, you'd talk to them, advance the plot, and move along. We wanted to bring those alive a lot more, have them happen in locations, and have events that were going on that felt much more natural. So you might go on a date with someone, or you might go meet them off on the Citadel somewhere, and just talk about what's going on in their lives. Um, of course, the war is mostly what's going on in their lives, but there's a personal side to that sure. as well. So just really just being more intentional about some of those moments was the big change for us. Now, you mentioned how, you know, obviously you can play it one way or another way, like 50 different ways. Yeah. Now, in fact, we actually had someone here earlier today um, who's a fan, you know, been waiting in line for hours, and, you know, he said the biggest thing he loves about Mass Effect is the fact that you can really do anything, be anything in the game, it really it's your story. Now, obviously, that has to present a writing challenge. <laughs> How do you guys handle that? Like, do you, I mean, you know, Raphael, so, um, you know, the guy who voices Caden was saying how, you know, he envisioned like a giant spreadsheet with lines going everywhere with every yeah. choice. Like, how do you keep everything straight? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, fortunately we have an amazing tool set that's uh, been created by amazing tools programmers and uh, it's all custom for us. It works, it does everything that we need to do to enable us to create all the branching narrative. But aside from that too, I mean, if you look at Mass Effect 3, we're wrapping up a trilogy. We've got all these decisions that you know, you could have made or you might not even have played the game before and you might be a new player coming into this and we had to account for all that. Um, and so for us it's really about planning that out and, it, and we literally spent, you know, months, almost six months before putting, you know, virtual pen to paper, just plotting out all the possibilities just to start this, the game, you know, wow. and figure out where we were going to take all of those options and how we could weave them into a singular story. Um, so honestly a lot of it just comes down to planning. And then once you're in there, it's just iteration and iteration and, and, and continuing to work at it. We, are, we also have other tools that allow us to, you know, for instance, track all of the different decisions that you can make as a player. Um, and those are invaluable to us as, as, as we're writing the game, so we can always go back and, and reference them. Now, one thing I noticed, so, you know, certainly in, in the most recent sort of trailers we've released and whatnot, we've kind of hinted at characters that have been from the, the comics and the novels. Was that the plan all along, to sort of introduce these characters and then have them make their way into the games? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, once we realize that, you know, the, the, the franchise is going to be popular enough that it would support novels and there's, there's going to be a love for the characters, not just in the game, but in the novels, it made sense. I mean, uh, one of the first times we really did a, a true crossover was with uh, the Redemption comic with We Are, where, you know, you sort of started a story in this four-series issue and then ended it in the Lair of the Shadowbroker uh, DLC. 
And I love the way that there's that synergy there. That, you know, both of them work on their own, but together they make something that's even, you know, kind of bigger. And so I think, you know, all along, uh, yeah, we, we were, that was our hope that we could, we could, we could do that, take something that, because, uh, you know, characters and storytelling obviously transcend the medium and allow us to, you know, uh, present the universe in many different ways. And, uh, yeah. Now, being here and seeing kind of the line going, looping the block yeah, here, yeah. Um, what's something you're going to take back about tonight to the guys in Edmonton? You know, um, whenever I come to these events, I was just, I was just sitting there with uh, Casey and, and uh, we were signing and talking to some of the, uh, the fans. The thing that I love about coming to these events is talking to the fans. That's, that's always what I take away from it the most is the passion that they have. And, uh, I think I don't know who I was talking to earlier. It's like you know, as as game designers, obviously we're passionate about what we do. We we love the job that we have, and when you come to something like this, or even you see it and hear about it, it's like the fans giving back some of that passion, and and it, that feels uh, great as a, as a creator. And it's always one of the things that I enjoy most about coming to events like this, and certainly to this one, and just seeing all the the love that people have for the franchise, for the characters, for everything in it and uh yeah it will be uh, something that stays with me a long time all right and finally when what's something you want to say to the fans you know i i uh i hope you get in there i hope you uh try it uh from a whole bunch of uh different angles uh, i think it was uh, chris Priestley the other day said something about uh you know if you even if you have an import maybe try it as a non-import player uh but whatever you do um you know I hope you enjoy it. I hope, uh, hope it stays with you a long time. I hope that uh, you know, we've created some memories here and I hope that it, uh, those are memories you'll keep with you for a long time. All right, Mac Walters, thank you so much for talking to us. You bet, thank you. We have a very special message